All right, glad you're up at 15 minutes at the top of the hour. Please put something on. The battle for Virginia's 5th Congressional District is drawing attention because it could help the GOP regain control of the House of Representatives. It could also be a barometer for voter sentiment around the country. That's why we're focusing on it. Republican nominee Robert Hurd taking on Democratic incumbent Tom Perillo, who has supported all of President Obama's signature legislation. Republican State Senator Robert Hurd joins us from Washington, D.C. Robert, how is highlighting the accomplishments of the Obama administration administration helping you against Congressman Perillo? Well, you know, Congressman Perillo was elected uh, two years ago uh, on the platform that he was going to be an independent conservative voice for the people of the 5th District. Since that time, uh, he has voted with Nancy Pelosi 90 percent of the time and has voted with her uh, on all of her signature items, cap and trade, health care, and a trillion dollar stimulus package that hasn't produced uh, any of the jobs as promised. Uh, I don't think that, that it is helping him at all uh, and, in fact, is hurting him. Uh, and I think it's in, in our message, of course, is that uh, I will be a voice, an independent voice for the people of the 5th District and will promote jobs, job prom promotion policies uh, as opposed to job killing policies. And, and in particular, you knew the country was in crisis. You knew that people thought if we don't have TARP, we hit the side of a mountain economically. If we don't have a stimulus package, unemployment goes, we've heard, to maybe 20%. Uh, but still, you wouldn't have done any of these things? I would not have. You know, as I travel across the 5th District and talk to business owners and talk to individuals, people understand that the government is, government is spending too much. The federal government is out of control, uh, and this fiscal recklessness uh, is going to not only, not only jeopardize our, uh, our, our current economy, uh, but obviously leaves a legacy for our children and grandchildren that's unacceptable. Uh, I believe that we need to promote policies that reduce taxes, that uh, reduce regulations, and make it easier. Uh, for, for businesses to succeed. Uh, and, and I think also, I think that we must have a, a climate uh, we, that instills confidence uh, for, the, for, for business. And until we do, we're not going to see the job growth uh, that the people of the 5th District desperately need. So you want to see the job growth, yet you want to cut back. Well, how do you, what, what programs would you like to see go forward? Well, I think that we have to, first of all, stop digging. When you find yourself in the hole, the first thing you have to, and you want to get out, the first thing you do is you, you stop digging. We've got to stop spending uh, this money. It's money that we don't have. Uh, and, of course, the debt, $13 trillion in debt, uh, is, is, is money that is going to have to be paid for, for, the, for the force, you know, for all of our generations. Now, we have Congressman Perriello on tomorrow on Boxing Friends. That'll be Friday at about 8.15 Eastern time. You have one question for him. What would it be? Well, I, my question to Tom Perriello uh, would be, how is it that you have uh, been able to uh, support Nancy Pelosi 90 percent of the time on all of her signature issues, uh, health care, cap and trade, uh, and the tr a trillion dollar stimulus package? How can you say that that's actually helped the people right. of the 5th District when we have gotcha. unemployment as high as 20 percent uh, in, in, in some places? All right, we'll let him answer that tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much, and I know you'll be watching. Uh, Robert Hurd, thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Brian. And by the way, con congressional ratings, last thing I saw, 18 percent approval rating, so that's not going to work for him. Meanwhile, coming up straight ahead, more teachers are breaking ranks with the union. Up next, a group that's growing in both membership and power. Then, you know those... Workers in Bell, California, who were paying themselves ridiculously high salaries, it's time for them to pay the piper.